In the sum, they have given front view and top view, and you have to draw side view. So first we will relate the surfaces. If you see in this case, we have one circular object. See this one circle and a rectangle. So inside you will have, we will have a rectangle. See this circle, rectangle with a one more circle inside, dotted line. The same kind of thing we will have inside view. We will see this over here also we have a something kind of a semicircular object and a rectangle. So inside you we will have a rectangle. Plus we have this inclined portion which is a rectangle. So we will have rectangle, same with this inclined portion, rectangle. So more or less we have four objects. So we will start with the first one. See this. Circle, rectangle. So when we will project, when we project from here, we will have from here if I project. See, first I will see this. Like I will project this, this and this. When I will project, I will have two rectangles like this. One, two for this. Then we have this circular option. Then we have this circular object. For that also we will have a rectangle. So more or less we will have this kind of a rectangle. I just back it. So we are done with first part. Now after this, we see the slope. If you see the slope, which is part two, right? We heard it's this. If you see carefully, it's inclined in front view, and in top view it is rectangle. So inside you, you will have a rectangle. So when you will project, it will be from here. You project this part. When you draw, it will be like this. See, when you project from here, and when you project from here, you get that part. Then, third part, which is this slope. See this, both the sides are there, and we have a rectangle for it. So, when you project from front view, and you project this from top view, you will get this intersection. So if I want to darken it, it will be like this. Same here on the other side. Now, this won't be there, this will be done. This will be done. On the other side, there will be slight, we can show curve to show that it is tangent. We can show curve on the other side. Right? So, this is that, this slope. Now, if you see this part, see this is one drip, this is another drip. This both the ribs are merging internally. That means when you see from here, you won't be able to see this merging curve. If I'll show you with this isometry. See this, this merging part, this part. When you see from this side, you can't see this part. Right? So that we need to show dotted. So what we will do, we will extend this base. And we will extend this also till it reaches to the middle portion. So we will have this. Now after this, we will deal with this circular object. This circle, so entire boundary will be done. Yeah. Right. 
entire boundary is done. Plus, we have a dotted line also. Right? We have a circle, right? This is full dotted. So inside you also it will be dotted. So when you project from here, you will have dotted line. Same way on the other side. Now, last. That is this slot. If you see this circle, it has a slot which is going through and through. See, whenever depth is not mentioned, it will we will consider it to be through and through. So we need to draw this slot. So what we will do? We will project this also, and we will this slot. Now we will draw sectional front view along AA. See this, they have given a cutting plane line passing through this object. So when you see this, it is not cutting it over here. So what we will do, this portion will become dark. But there won't be any hatching over here. Why? Because we are not cutting anything. Then over here also see, we are not cutting any object. So over here also it will be plain. Here we are cutting this portion. So this will become dark. And hatching will come here. Same way, if you see here, we are not cut cutting any portion, so we have there won't be any line. This will become dark. See this. Okay. This is getting cut, so this will be also hatched. Now we need to decide about these two parts. If you see, this is a rib and this is also a rib. So when you see this, when you cut like this, this you are getting cut. This we are cutting it parallel, so we won't be hatching in this area, but we'll be hatching in the lower part because we are cutting the lower root along the width. And always remember, we will cut minimum area in terms of rib. Whenever you have a minimum area for the rib, we will hatch that portion compared to the maximum area. So we are done with sectional front view as well.